is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. And this is the day before my trip back to my hometown in Wisconsin. So I want to cover pretty much what I have finished and what I plan to bring with me on my trip. First up, I got this hat done. This hat and another hat that you've seen in a previous video. This hat is going to be donated to the Bumblebee Outreach that is run by K&K &K Crochet. They are trying to get hats from every state and they don't have Wisconsin yet. So while I was in Wisconsin, I'm going to mail off these hats and hopefully that will count toward getting a hat from Wisconsin. So I'll have those brought with me and mailed off. Let's see. Oh, what I finally got done. We're halfway through September. Uh, I mean, we're halfway through October. Now I have September's temperature blanket is done. Yeah, where's the top? This is the top. It's the right, the wrong side. So yeah, September temperature blanket is finally that's done. So in later later on in the month, I will have this attached finally to June and July. Okay. Why I can't? I might not think it. July, August, and September. July, August, September will be attached together and will be attached to the other bigger blanket. That will be more video on that. So just a quick update what the temperature blanket was. I got a calendar back in 2000, the Christmas of 2012, I got a calendar. Which is way over here. This calendar. I got back into Christmas of 2012 and in 2013 I actually made a temperature blanket making a square of every day in this calendar and it turned out to be pretty big so 10 years later fast forward 10 years later and now I'm in the process of recreating that except this time I'm doing the temperature making a temperature blanket and I'm making a blanket for every month and I'm attaching all of them squares together. So that is a nutshell on that. So right now I got October 1st and 2nd done on this current blanket. Yeah, October 1st and 2nd is done. October 1st was a very large pattern. It was almost 30, 28 rows. So I got the 2nd in over here on the same because it's the 90 degrees so it probably is a, a hot, pretty unusual to have 90s in October but I have a feeling that I am done with the 90s for good I don't think it's going to come up anymore in the year so anyway so what I'm going to pack on my trip is all of the yarn I need for the other temperatures so I need to range I still have 80s I actually hit 80s sometimes still in October so I got it have temperatures from now the 80s down to the 50s because it had already hit the 50s plus where I'm going is forecasted in the 50s. So that's one of the things I'll have brought with me is a temperature blanket and hopefully and hopefully I will get it more caught up. Speaking of temperature projects so obviously I'm gonna bring my other temperature project which is the scarf so that is up to date actually I need to do I actually need to do today's yet I still have to do another day on here yet which is I still need to do today's yet so actually what I probably only need to bring with me I don't think it's I might bring the 60s and the 50 I think I only might need to bring the 50s because I think it's going to be in the 50s but to be on the safe time side I'll probably bring 
what I need for the 60s down through the 40s. But I don't think I'm going to use the 60s or the 40s yarn for to keep up to date on my temperature scarf. Reset. So there. This backpack that I got from Team Zoom now holds the temperature blanket project and then the yarn I need for that. Okay. So what else I plan on bringing is a project that's still way behind is this blanket. So I need to bring the blanket and the yarn I need to keep working on the Granny Square make-along project that's running from August to December that I learned through Connie at Just Another Stitch. So I was up, I was doing good for a while and I, I fell behind trying to stay up with September's Mystery Yarn Challenge. And, and now that we have transitioned into the Mystery Yarn Challenge, I am still on the fence on whether I want to bring the stuff to work on October's Mystery Yarn Challenge. I don't know, because I think I'm going to have a lot to do. I, this, I, have, I have this project, which is a lot. And the temperature blanket is going to be a lot. Plus, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to work on projects. So, I think between this project and my temperature projects, I think is going to be enough to keep me busy and occupied. The only other things I might bring with me are, because I'm doing Scrubby Sunday, I might be bringing... Sunday scrubby stuff. Well, just so you know, scrubby Sunday. That is obviously every every Sunday. We're making dishcloths for homeless veterans, for the AmericanStarfish.org. So make sure you can check a scrubby Sunday video for more information on that. And if you want to make washcloths for the homeless veterans, I have I have that information in any scrubby Sunday video. I don't know, I didn't want to get too far into that, but I might bring, I actually, my mic, I got this little bag, and it's got some cotton yarn in here ready, and I think I have some, I have some hooks, actually hooks right here ready. Actually, I should make sure I bring a pair of scissors. Make sure this here got hooks. Just make sure I have scissors with me. Think is oh, I know I'm like all over the place in this video. I am so sorry. There we are. I got stuff. I got scissors and that in here, so I make sure we got that brought with me. And I'll stick that in here. Actually, probably should have stuck that in the back. More on that later. Also, I'll probably, oh, I'll probably stick this in this bag. Now, I don't know if you've seen the video. I did a video for a review on this scrub off by Sugar and Cream, which odd story, it went live before I had intended it to go live. I forgot to look at the setting setting when it was uploading. It got set to public. So this went live. This video went live before I was ready for it to go live. But anyway, it is out there. And I don't know if it's in the description or not. But the tutorial on how to do this pattern is in the scrub off video. So make sure you check that out. All right. I think that's all I'm going to bring with me. I think I'm going to bring in the cotton yarn so I can make dishcloths, my temperature projects, and the granny square blanket. And that's, that's all I'm going to bring. And okay, and that is all I have for now. Stay tuned because the next video. I got a team haul. So make sure you. 
make sure you subscribe and don't miss out on Timo Yarn Haul unboxing. So, well, it's not a box, but anyway, if you did like this video, please give it a like. Want to see more content like this? Please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.